revise a few things of what we did last week. The question is, where was our memory first taken from? Um, uh -huh. Our memory verse was taken from Psalm 119 verse. Uh, Read it for us. Psalm 119 verse. The only way we can know you are there is when you stand up and read. You want to see some past readers in the past today? Tea will be ready and we go and do some justice to it. Good. Today we are learning. Thank you for coming late. Oh. Somebody took over your opening prayer. Yeah. No, 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 I don't worry. In the kingdom of God, that's how it's going to be. Your crown will be given to somebody else to wear. That's how it is. No, that's how it is. That God, that's why God says it will, it will be. In the last days, the Bible says, those who will stand to the end. No reasons and no excuse acceptable. But this one is acceptable. She didn't want to come now. By who? Gifty. Gifty didn't want to come. Gifty didn't tell him he didn't want to come. Gifty never told me he didn't want to come. Then yesterday she even gave me a thumbs up for the message I sent. Nobody <laughs> told you that he wouldn't want to come. Don't put no blame on her. Own. I beg you. Please, I beg you. Don't bring any problem between me and my gift. Please. Please, where come from Ghana? Let's clap for her. She's just came back from Ghana. Oh, God bless you for coming back. We read our quotation from Psalm 119, verse 9, 10, and 11. There is only one way to find out if you are there. If you are there, don't say that. Just stand up and read. Uh -huh. Psalm 119, verse 9, 10, and 11. How can a young man? How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. The answer is given. What is the answer? By living according to your word. My question to you is, how can you keep your way pure? I seek you with all my heart. Hold on, you can sit down. Somebody go on to verse 10. But the verse 9 again. How can you keep your way pure? Nana? Good. Mr. Yantechi? How can you keep your way pure? By living according to the word. Air hostess, how can you live your way pure? Um, what? What? <laughs> Psalm 119 verse 9. How can you keep your way pure? Uh, by taking you there to according to your word. According to my word? According to his word. God's okay. Word. It's a comfort. Verse 10. Yes. With and then you put your phone first in your bag. Verse 10. Uh -huh. With my whole heart have I sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandment. Amen. With your whole heart, not half heartedly, not half of your heart for your phone and half of your heart for the word. Mm -mm. Not half of your heart for the things you have. Not half of your heart for your school. Not half of your heart for money and things and the half of God. Sir Connect, what did he say? He said, with my? With my? With my? Aha. Verse 11. The lady from Ghana. Uh -huh. Give me some Ghana tone. <laughs> your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. How can you not sin against God? By? Word in your heart. By? So if you don't want to sin, what do you do? You learn the word of God. If you don't want to sin, what do you do? You learn God's word in your heart. That whole heart. So in case you want to do a sin, the word is there with a hey, my friend. 
Lastly, you read here that thou shalt not do concursa. So why you bring concursa and into that? Now, show, push, then you stop. Uh -huh. So in order to stay in God on a God's feet and do what He wants you to do, Psalm 119, verse 9, 10, 11 must guide you. Amen. Amen. And last week we let a lot of stuff. And we reached a point where we um, we did a lot on relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Relationship. Where is it? Very fascinating. Yeah. Okay. okay. Who can tell me something about the relationships? That we should as a man. I'm talking to the boys now, as a boy or a young young man. I gave you five C's that you should not build your relationship on. Give me one, Samuel. Curves. Are you Samuel? Samuel, give me some. Uh, sorry? Of course. Eh? <laughs> the now, that is for the girls not to look for cars. And for the boys not to look for curves. curves. What are curves? Shapes. The shapes and the. Uh -huh. If you want to build a good relationship in the future, don't look for curves. Click up on that shape. And the girls. Cash. Don't look for cash. 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 And cash. What else? Uh -huh. What else should you not be looking for as a girl? I gave it all of them to you, eh? And I'm waiting to hear them. The cars. The curves, Count. countenance. Countenance is how somebody looks like. Don't take her. This guy is macho. Look at his chest. He's Take tall. Take tall. Six pack. Ooh, wow. Yes. The moment you see that, you will drill away. You understand? Uh huh. You shouldn't look at those things. But the inner beauty comes from what God has put in the person. Amen. We also learned on the things that we should base our relationship with on sorry we should base our relationship on number one compatibility when you know fact you are all christians you like going to church together you like having things done together um <coughs> not like one line in school one like church it's not compatible mm. your character must be more or less the same good Competence, the person must be good in doing things. Again, communication. The quiet fast for a casa. You go our casa to our. But what can I say? If you have any money, no, you have to check all those things. Again, children. Not everyone likes children. And I give an example like last week. Also, cash management. How to manage money. If you have she they say uh, you have somebody who every 10 euro he has will spend every nine and remaining one such a person you can't spend you can't build a future with a person like that every money that comes in you need to spend it how can you build a future you know you have to manage money for a financial management or cash management and the last one is <coughs> credit report and countenance now Credit report, who or her? Before you met the guy, he has more than 35,000 euro debt. Be selling, be selling, be sell iPhone, be sell nose phone, be sell earphone, be sell flat TV. Everything be selling, be selling, be selling. And then those are piling up. If you go with such a person to relationship, then you're gonna first work out and pay for that person's debt. For the two of you can agree together to do something on your own and to take you a very long time to get out of those things so when you want to build up a relationship think about all these c's 
I have given you today. And God will bless us. Amen. Amen. Uh, we ended up here last week. Any question up to this point? Uh huh. What we read last week? Any question on that? Oh, if you look at that, cooking and cleaning is part of it. There are some boys who are very dirty. They can't even wash the things they they uh, they ate from at home. Boxes, two weeks. Two weeks boxer shorts. The same thing is this. As a boy, every day, whilst you are under the shower, you are washing your boxer shorts. You must be clean. Shave your oxos every other three days. Shave your edges. Yeah. Three days. Every three days you have to shave, Tom. That's what I do. Every other day I shave. Tom. Okay. Three days, please. But that is man that you shave. Money things that you shave. You see, that's how it is. You clean yourself up. <coughs> you see, young Teti, he always shaves his face. Uh -huh. I'm not saying if you are bad, it means you are dirty. I'm not saying that. If you are bad, you you look at Mr. James Bart. He combs sure. it. He <laughs> combs it. <laughs> so, you, you don't comb your yeah. So if you don't comb that one chair, what tan tan tan? Nah, it's this. He combs it. Mm. You shave your muscles. You buy nice uh, roll on. Apply it in fresh. When you sweat in your 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 singlet, don't hang it on the for and the next day you put it on again. No. Yeah. When you sweat, put it off. <laughs> yes. All this kind of cleaning or personal hygiene things, you need to learn them. If you have a relationship with an opposite sex and you see that all these things the person lacks, but you like him, teach him or her how to do it. There's nothing wrong about that. Of course, I like the way you do things, but last week, I went away uh, jumping and dancing. I saw the same brazier you are wearing here today, last two weeks, last three weeks, last four weeks. I have only one. Oh, take care of it. Oh, your fayada has left in <laughs> And learn how to cook. The fact that you are 13, 14, 19 doesn't mean you shouldn't cook. But are you going to try to cook them? When the mom is busy at the kitchen, <coughs> you go there and then you help. <coughs> Sorry. But so doing, you learn how to cook. Amen. And that was it. Any question up to this point, or to the relationship, that's where we reach. Then today we go to appreciate. But we took the letter grace. G-R-A-C-E. G was for the giving and uh, R was for the relationship. A is to appreciate. That's where we are now. So any question on giving and relationship? No question? No question? Okay. To appreciate, what does it mean? Yana? Thank you very much. To appreciate me to recognize a full worth of your parents brought you to school to learn how to become a doctor. If you appreciate it, it means you know the value of what your parents have placed on you. But if you don't appreciate it, instead of you getting up at 7 o'clock and get ready for school, you sleep out through till 9 o'clock, 9.30. Then you prepare to go to school. By the time you get there, the first five lessons is already gone because you don't put any value. <coughs> Sorry, you better come here. So never this quality. Eric, can put it down, please. Thank you. God bless you. So, to value means you put a price on something. You see, God has given us so much. Every Sunday, he wakes us up. But to show to God that we appreciate him, what do we do? We leave our bed. No matter how cold it is, we put a price on the time he has given to us and we come here. What we are doing right now shows that we appreciate God. 
Amen. Amen. Good. Then you can ask, either what about those who do not come to church? They don't know the value of what God has given us. Why am I saying? There are seven days in a week. You went to school or you go to work, all the five or the six days, just that one single Sunday that you give to God, what will happen? So to appreciate this, to add value to it. You appreciate God first in all things. You know how many things? All things. Good. It can be hard to appreciate all of the amazing blessings that he has been given. Sometimes we don't even recognize the blessings for what we are. Instead, just taking things for granted. You think you went to bed last night, you put a lot up on your telephone, and it says, pay, 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 pay. You woke up. So you think, that's all. No. If you like, go to the mortuary. Put that same alarm on this beside a dead body. Set the alarm as hard as you can and see if that dead body can rise up. It will never rise up. Why? It's dead. Is it the same alarm? Yes. So, so to appreciate means to add extra value of what God has given you. Number one example, as I said, when I came back from prison, I said, God, that two and a half years almost time that is wasted, I'm going to add extra value to it by not going back again. Mm -mm. If you beg me, I'll go back. Mm -mm. Not that I'm afraid, I value the time. So I appreciate God. My question is, what are you appreciating God with? Is it clear? All right. The next point is this. How can I appreciate God? After all, God has everything. All the gold in the world is for him. All the silver is not for God. All the trees is not for him. Let's open our Bibles to 1 Chronicles 16, 8. There's only one way to find out who is there. And that is by... By, by, First Chronicles 16, 8. Who is there? I want the first reader today to win some, a, a, a big prize. First Chronicles 16, 8. First Chronicles 16, 8. No Corinthians, so Chronicles. Nana is there. Let's come for Nana. Let's come for Nana. In fact, this guy is too good. Today he has won twice. And then today you chop, eh? All this is a reserved for you. Uh -huh. I saw you are in Corinthians. You want Chronicles. Hey, I saw. I saw Chronicles. Not Corinthians. Chronicles. Uh huh. Nana, let's hear you. Yes. I just read verse 8. Give, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Amen. Amen. What did the, the writer say? Give thanks unto the Lord. Check your Bible and read it back to me. What did he say? Give thanks unto the Lord. Or check the screen. What did he say? Give thanks to the Lord. Come on. Number two. Call on his name. Number three. Make known among the nations what he has said. So to appreciate God, there are three things you should do. Number one. Give thanks to the Lord. Number one. Give thanks to the Lord. Are there students in the house? Number one. Give thanks to the Lord. I can't hear you. Give thanks to the Lord. I can't hear you. Give thanks to the Lord. Shake the roof. Give thanks to the Lord. This is not shaking. Louder. Give thanks to the Lord. Number two. Call on his name. Number two. Call on his name. Shake the roof. Call on his name. Number three. Make known among nations what he has done. Good. What has the God done for you? If you say oh, God has blessed you, but what has he done? People are nowadays afraid to give testimony. They are afraid of the riches killing them. <laughs> if God, no, God knows all things. 
If God knows that when he does something for you, which is to kill you, he will not do it. Mm -mm. So number one, give thanks to God. When you come to church, you say, open prayer like Nenda did today, very powerfully. Give thanks to God. <coughs> you hear? <coughs> Two seconds, we finish. Is that how to give thanks to God? And he said, call on his name. What is the name of God? God. Eh? God. What's the name of God? Jesus. What's the name of God? Elohim. Thank you. What's the name of God? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Let's clap for him. Uh -huh. What did you say? He didn't hear you. Yeah. Yahweh is God's name. Next time, I'm going to show you the difference between Jesus and God, yeah? Amen. You don't really say Jesus. Okay. No, it's okay. In times like this, you let me know what you need, then I prepare those on that. Okay. I want us to read something from Psalm 30, verse 4. Psalm 30 verse 4, and I'll put this one on the projector. There's only one way to find out if you are there. It's by reading. Psalm 30 verse 4. Who is there? Me. <laughs> <laughs> who said me? Okay, read it for us. Psalm 30 verse 4. Sing the of the Lord. I'm sorry. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 4. Oh. <laughs> Proverbs 30 verse 4. There's only one way to find out who is there. 30 verse 4. If you are you there, don't wait for her. He brings her. Oh, her mother is there. Let's clap for her You see, she sat down and came back again. You have to be faster. He is faster. Proverbs 30 verse 4. Let, let's hear her reading. Who has ascended to the heaven and come down? Who has gathered all the wind in his fist? Who has gathered all the waters in his garment? Who has Establish all the ends of this earth. Hold on. How many questions have they been asked right now? Four questions. You know that you have not completed the verse yet, but you know the answer. Right? Yeah. Please, you can sit down. The question is Who has ascended to heaven and come down? Who? Only oh, Jesus, right? Question two Who can gather all the wind? We know what wind is. Look. Air. Wait, in your heart. Who can do that? Nobody can do it except one person. Question three. Who can gather all the rivers, the waters, the sea, and tie them in his garments, his clothes like that? Who can do that? You see, we have not finished the question yet, but you know the answer. The next question is, who has established the ends of the earth? Who put this earth there? Who? Good. We have not finished yet. He said, What is his name? Yeah, yeah. And what is his son's name? If you know, tell me. So that means God has a name. His son also has a name. So when you read Chronicles, the Bible says, Give thanks to God, call on his name. So you must know as a child of God the name of your father. God is not a name, God is just a title. Yes. <laughs> God is not a name. Eh? Next week or the other time, next week somebody else will come here. The point is, I'm going to show you the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament and who God is and who Jesus, blah, blah, blah. That complicated, making you crazy. I'm going to cut them into pieces for you to understand. God is different from Jesus. Yes? Okay. So, Chronicles said, and I will call on his name. Psalm 69 verse 30 says, I will praise the name of God with song and shall magnify him in thanksgiving. 
So whenever you sing songs of praise, you dance to the Lord, you are showing appreciation. At least that you are, you are walking on two legs. I know a guy who fell on the snow. Yes, this snow just fell this three days ago. He just fell and he broke this uh, the long, uh, what do you call it, uh, bone in this side. He broke it. They can't face it. You need to cut and open. What does the operation? This small snow that just rain. We all walk through the snow. Somebody broke a whole lot of uh, uh, a bone. And you have to. When the song I are praying, you can't even jump and thank God and praise. Then are you appreciating God? The same machine that you work on, somebody work on it, his hand is amputated. The same machine, you work on it every day. You have fingers to flip your phones. Flip, 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 Somebody is suffering stroke. He has four mobile phones on the side of the bed. When the phone rings, he, he pick with the tongue. Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes. People are suffering, eh, but you don't see them. Yes. So when it's time for you to appreciate God, count it all joy and come out and do it. <coughs> Again, how can I appreciate God? This time is Corinthians. First Corinthians 15 and 57 says, But thanks be to God, He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. For the past few days, I've been lying down flat in my room, man. I can't, I can't even do anything. I'm sick. But this morning, my officer can you say if I don't go, who else would do? I, I was not, I didn't, I, 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 I couldn't imagine I can even talk like this without coughing ten times. But now look at what is happening. I, I, I thank God. If I have to jump, I will jump. So you always have to let God know how you appreciate Him. For what you have here, people, some people need it. Eh? Oh yes, yes. We are all victorious in Him through the sacrifice. He gave it to us upon the cross. Now, if you can show gratitude, there are also certain kind of benefit that you get. Apart from telling God that you are happy for all the things He does for you, you benefit from it. Number one, it reduces depression. No one is depression. And just what? Why you boom? You can't even flow with people. Nay. Get out. Appreciate God. No, every service I stay here, I'm a decentralist. I dance from the beginning to the end. Appreciate God. Two, you improve your self esteem. Three, you increase your energy. If you like those footballers, you play football, right? If you score a goal and the people give you fans, no, nah, no, no, nah, no, 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 no. Look at how your head becomes. Yeah. <laughs> See, the guy is tired. But still, when you get the ball, you still want to dribble very fast and score the second one. You want more fans. Yeah, talk. That's how it is. So the more you show appreciation, the more energy you get. That's how it is. So the more you appreciate God, the more he gives you. When you come here, we say you pay tight. It's not for you. Just take the money from your hands. You learn how to appreciate him by giving what he has given to you back. God said, wow, since you are so appreciating to me through this way, I'm going to give you more. That's how it is. Again, it develops your strong immune system. It increases your sleep quality. Hey, if you show appreciation, it increases your sleep. Me, if I lie down, I close my eyes. That's a, a no break. I don't know who that witch will come <laughs> or the demon. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, forget it. So start learning how to appreciate. Amen. Again, a reduce and cope with negative stress. You eat healthier. Good. Okay, we say what to be quite correct. All because you can show appreciation. It's good, eh? When you are with your parents, once upon a time, surprisingly, put the phone in your bag now. Appreciate God through that way, eh? That's a why me. 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 That's a why
But number one in facility management, Jack, nice one. You compliment him. You see? Oh, no, like the way in fact you raise that, you stand up and read the Bible, you are the best when it comes to Bible reading. In fact, congratulations. You see, you compliment the person on what he does. In fact, Connie, the way you lead the songs and praises last week, it was fantabulous. Jack, give me half five. Wow, give me PowerPoint. Boom. You see that? And the more I do that, what do you, how do you feel? You feel good inside of you. So, to go on in life, learn to appreciate each other. Compliment one another. Is like that this your red thing? I have, I have seen one, one, one shoe in, in Zara. If I ate your feet, the day you... You see that? You compliment. That's how it works. I think you are beautiful. Ah. You see? Uh -huh. Wow, that's Kobe. I think you have a cake in your head. <laughs> ah, I can see that. I can smell that from a distance. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Put it there. You are going to pee. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, give me high five. Let me appreciate you, bro. Give me some funny thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. You have to show appreciation. That's how it is. He made a cake himself. He's a cake baker. <laughs> now, the next item on the word grace, we have started with G, giving our relationship A, appreciate. The next one is C, commitment. We take a short pause for coffee and then we continue. Amen. 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 Any questions so far? Any questions so far? No question? Okay. Then let's go for 